Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it Aquarius. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what's going on. Aquarius, it looks like you want delays to be over. It's like you're praying to the universe, God, spirit, whatever you believe in. You just want it to come now, whatever it is, whatever you've been praying for. If you're waiting for a yes answer and approval, uh, you just want it now. You, you know, you're at a place of just not understanding uh, the waiting period. Let's see what this is about for my Aquarius. Some of you are waiting to move. You got the five of cups and the two of wands here. Um, some of you could just be in a place of lack, you know, uh, maybe emotionally. It, it could also be monetarily. Some of you could have lost a job or lost something uh, or maybe even lost a friend or lost a loved one. Um, you could be communicating with someone who is passed over um, or, or is really just longing for this person. Someone could be far away from you. You also are thinking about this person. You are sad about the relationship, about maybe how it can't move forward, you know, or it's not moving forward. What is this about for the Aquarius? What's going on for Aquarius? One more card. Uh, the Fool card. So some of you just, you're ready to move. You're ready to make some move. Uh, maybe in a new direction put yourself out there p follow some pipe dream some of you want to move into something more exciting more fun this could be in career and finance this could be in love and romance some of you just really want something new you want to just follow your heart in terms of um maybe yeah your career you're not sure how you can do something more attuned to your personality and make money What's going on here for the Aquarius? Yeah, the High Priestess and the Eight of Pentacles. Uh, some of you work from home or you do desk work or you do like paperwork or you do bookkeeping work or you, you do something where there's record keeping. You always have to go back in the records or something of that nature. It could be accounting. This could also be your own business from home for, for some of you. Um, you are kind of just in that some of you are just um with the high priestess here you've grown bored maybe accustomed to whatever it is you do and you're just doing it day in day out wash rinse repeat there is no high level of enjoyment in what you're doing for some of you and some of you you have a new business and you just you understand that you have to continuously show up in that energy so that you can prove to yourself the universe and everybody around you that you are dedicated motivated um you want this to get to a self-sustaining energy so that you can maintain your level of uh prosperity abundance independence here and that's the only way you can do it is showing you know yourself and everyone involved that you are the eight of pentacles that you are reliable um and that's for some of you who have your own business for some of you you're in a job where you're just is despondent here um it says watch where you put your money also with the eight of pentacles here be prudent in terms of um some of you thinking about somebody over and over again or vice versa they're doing this in terms of you you're thinking about the, how you have given situation chance after chance after chance um, especially only to be the other woman or be the woman in secret or not get a title yep maybe just be a part of somebody's roster with the five of wands here and not get what you wanted out of this connection what's the advice for Aquarius here what's the advice for Aquarius uh, leave this behind take the lead on this three of wands expand somewhere else um, you know, maybe happiness, uh, fun times, better times is somewhere else. When the three of wands, it says that every aspect of your life is going well. The advice is leave this behind so that every aspect can go well so that you can pull in that energy, um, that you, that you want, you can pull in that energy that you deserve those dreams those wishes this is also you putting something out there to the universe praying 
giving something up over to the higher power and just waiting for it to manifest for you to come into you that's what the advice is yeah some of you need to go ahead and make that career move with the knight of swords and the six of swords some of you with the advice there you need to um be tunnel vision on moving on um yeah tunnel vision on just moving on because this isn't working for you you need to make sense of your moving on you know is it this the more rational thing to do or is should you stay in it and and be defeated because the five of swords is before the six of swords so it's like you're not getting what you want anyhow you just need to make sense of this all and also six of swords is moving on from previous hurt you know hurt from previous relationships you got to move on some of you need to even look into spirituality maybe even make yourself over or make over or put more energy time effort creative energy into you your look the aces or the one talks about um how the world looks at you or how you look at yourself or redefining yourself some of you just need to engage in that like you've been in a stuck energy for way too long you've been stuck in career you've been stuck in love relationships that's going nowhere the universe is just like look move move on it you don't even have a no major arcana we got two major arcana okay so it's really like aquarius you don't have to be here you know you don't have to be there you don't have to do that you just have to be courageous enough to move um, let's see what the soulmate cards have to say for you. Yeah, wow. Let things come and go. Let things come and go. Stay calm. Don't let anything disturb your peace and carry on. I mean, that can't get any clearer. Uh, we won't expound on that too much, you know. Just It's just like you, you're you such a fixed sign that once you set your sights, your mind, your heart on something, it's hard for you to let go. So it's all on you. It's not on anything else in the universe or nothing like that. It's just like you. You need to know you so that you can operate better in situations that involve you, which is every situation because you are you, you know. Um, if you know you, if you know that you're a fixed sign and it's hard for you to let go, then when you're in situations where you should let go, you'll say to yourself, okay, I'm a fixed sign. It's, it's really hard for me to let go. So this is on me. So I, maybe I need to go and... Um, Pick up a, a self-help book on how to let go, when to move on, you know, things of that nature. But as long as you don't know you, you'll always be in an energy of wondering or stuck or this or that or confused. So get to know the Aquarius, get to know you, all right? What else can this soulmate cards tell us? Um, you are spiritually connected to those you love, okay? So you are, so look, if you've like, okay, I'm just connected to this person. I can't get over them. They won't let me go. I can't let them go. I'm always thinking about them. I dream about them, blah, blah, blah. Okay. The simple answer is you're, you're spiritually connected to those you love. Okay. That's it. That's it. There's nothing else. There's no more. You just connected to them because you love them. That's it. And if you don't want to be connected to them anymore, then I don't know. Pick up another book and figure out how to fall out of love with someone. And then you won't be spiritually connected to them, you know? So that that is also an option here. Guess what? You don't have to do anything these cards say do. Um, just giving you some options in terms of your life, all right? Let's see. What else does the soulmate cards have to tell us? What does soulmate cards have to tell us? okay and where does the power come from it comes from within so some of you need to take your power back you have given it away you've given it away because you think you found the one that you you know you're supposed to be with your soul loves um but you know it might just be a false narrative here that you are telling yourself that you're creating for yourself also aquarius like to live in their head so you can make up stories you can make up a whole you know um scenario debacle in terms of what this is or what it is not so you know maybe this is the story you are telling yourself um take your power back if you have given it away if you, what does that mean all right so that means um you can give your power away to something that is not working so power and work go hand in hand all right when you are engaging in something that is not working meaning you are forcing something over a 
specific amount of time and you're still not getting an output, you're not getting uh, the desired output is not working, then that means you are powerless because in order to have power, you have to have work and you don't have any work because you're not getting a desired output. Therefore, you have given your power away by just continuously forcing something over a certain amount of time and it's not working. Therefore, you're powerless. So take your power back by not forcing this, putting your power, your excuse me, putting your work into something else that will um, give you a desired outcome and you will have power because the power comes from within. All right. Do yourself a favor and look up the equation for work and then look up the equation for power. And you'll see that you can't have power if you don't have work and you don't have work if you don't have power. Therefore, you'll understand when you put time and energy into something and it just doesn't work. That's why people will say, I feel powerless. Duh, light bulb moment because you've been putting work over a certain amount of time into something that just isn't working. So uh, let's keep moving. Um, Let's keep moving. Let's see what the, um, what, what deck is this? The Kipper deck has to say for you. What is the Kipper deck for future energy for the Aquarius? Wow. Beautiful. Great fortune Aquarius is it, on the other side of maybe, um, getting unstuck, letting things go and, and come. It's yeah. All right. So what else? Imprisonment. Some of you have been in that mental, emotional prison, maybe even in your career, just feeling stuck. Um, you can get yourself out of that. You just have to make a plan with the two of wands here. Make a plan. What does it look like? You know, yeah. Some of you have been stuck in some emotional relationship, house. Also, this could be career also. Um, because sometimes this can talk about the environment you work in. So some of you are just feeling like every day it's the same thing. Some of you have been in some sex only friends with benefits type of relationship, secret relationship. Um, and you just want out of that. You want something different. You feel like this person has been masquerading like there's something else or like they're going to give you something else, but they're not. It's just always going to be kind of friends with benefits and you're just over it and you're done, um, be done. The cards say be done. Uh, make a plan in terms of what being done looks like. Aquarius, this is what I have for you. I hope that it resonates. I hope that you took something from the reading. Let me know what you took from the reading. Let's put some power bolts down in the comment section. If you want to take your power back, if you understand that power comes from within, put some power bolts down in the comment section. Let's manifest together. Let's pull all of our energy, all of our power together. And let's just really take our power back. There could be an Aquarius out there who is feeling very low. And to see all of those power bolts and to see the other Aquarius want the best for other Aquarius and other people, whomever comes to the reading, I think that would be great for us all, especially at the start of this year and going into our birthday season. All right. So Aquarius, get your own personal reading. The six month reading is the best reading to get right now. It is on sale. Um, uh, check the, the community tab. You can use a coupon code. Um, and it's, it's a video recorded reading. So you can always refer back to it over the, ne the, the next few months. You can always go back to it. Um, yeah, get, get a six month reading, get any reading at the website level. Um, catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9 30 PM Eastern standard time, where you can come for the collective reading. You can also ask questions. Uh, thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.